waking up along with the city. The sounds of the streets, the bus passing by in the morning, the sounds of old school hip hop coming out of local businesses and cars passing by. The movement of a city has always kept me motivated. Walking around the urban landscape since I was a youth in Los Angeles has given me some of the best ideas and inspiration. Graffiti was my first artistic love and endeavor, which is to me the act of existence and resistance without permission and without compromise. I knew at a young age that it was important for me to document the fleeting city that I would see every day. Graffiti, the act of mark making, brought me to photography, which has been my primary focus over the last 12 years. I love the feeling of photographing a moment that will rarely exist again, in the same place at the same time. The camera is simply a tool, but it's always been amazing to stumble upon the near perfect time of day with the camera in hand. But above all else, I think I love music the most, whether it's jazz, West Coast hip hop, cumbia, or classical. I feel that my goal as an artist is to simply transmit the same feeling, the same energy of music into visual photographic terms. I grew up going to backyard parties with my family, breaking piñatas for the young and the old, where everything was closely documented, from video camcorders and VHS to smartphones and Facebook Live. The technology may be different, but the idea is the same, to capture a feeling. To put it in simple terms, I make work for my community, for black and brown people, for the working class and for the youth. I believe that a work of art is never completed by the artist, but rather by the viewer. So it's my job to ensure that every mark, every brush stroke, every picture works seamlessly so that my work is felt clearly and deeply by the viewer and by my audience. I love when people go up to me and feel a sense of amazement for my work, a sense of deep emotions, and feeling the magic from the mystery of my process. My work is often complexly layered with meaning, where every decision is made consciously, whether to make a statement or as a call to action. I grew up with lots of love, cousins, uncles, aunts, music, good food, and storytelling that really sets the tone and the bar for my work. If I can continue to make art, then I know I'm on the right path. If I can make art with purpose and deep meaning, then I know that I'm carving my own path, honoring those who came before me and fighting hard for those that will follow me. I'm interested in continuing to see my work through different processes, different stages and different scales in order to get closer to what my work is trying to teach me. As I move into the second decade of making art, being an artist and educator, it's so important for me to continue to push the boundary of what photography and art is, and also finding the most effective ways to give back to my community and the next generation of artists. In 2020, I started making collages from the leftover scraps of photographs and forgotten objects. Collage to me is a perfect metaphor for what it means to be Salvadoran American. It's a symbol for my family and our roots and the idea of putting together different pieces in order to make a new history. Through this process, it's a dance between intention and intuition, freedom and precision. I piece together the fragments of time across borders, across generations, in order to make new histories about the world we live in. Above all else, my work is proof of our being, a reminder that we were here. My work is a love letter to Los Angeles, and a sign that the fire will keep burning for a long time to come. My name is Felix Quintana, and I'm an artist and educator from Los Angeles.